Hello guys, how are you? Nice to meet you here. Today, I want to share about how to create a selection block in Python. You know, for the case of selection, Python only provides one command, namely if. Python does not provide switch, case off, or similar commands. It should also be noted that every program block in Python must be indented because Python does not implement the curly bracket or begin an end since to start an end a program block and then can be created using either a space character or a tab the selection process in python is done using the general form below you can see a formula for one case in this slide an example of using if with one case is as follows so i want to type x equivalent 38 if x is larger than 0 so you uh, have to make space here if you uh, don't make it yes uh, the program uh, is not uh, be longer okay so I will type print around brackets and I uh, add quotation mark and percent with D is positive number quotation mark double quotation mark what I mean percent and X okay yes you can see the result in my screen next the formula for two cases you can see in this slide an example of using if with two cases you can see in the code below X equivalent minus 13 enter if x is a uh, larger than 0 so yes you have to make space here print no run bracket Double mark quotation percent D is positive number double quotation percent X next. else next green percent D is not positive number Double mark quotation. So next, okay. You uh, can press the enter button in your keyboard, and you can see the result. Minus thirteen is not positive number because I mean minus thirteen uh, is not larger than zero. You can see the formula for three or more cases an example of using if with three cases you can see in the code below okay. I will type X make it fall on zero okay. if X is larger than zero space three space three okay. you can see 
step by step in my screen so you can you just follow step by step It's, it, it is different from, from the above example so here you add elif word elif and next you can add x double equivalent zero triple space Next, else. Enter. So you can see the result is you enter the zero value. Okay, because uh, the initial number what I enter in the first code here is x equivalent zero. So uh, the logic form uh, is suitable with uh, this middle formula. Okay, this is all from me. Hope this video is useful. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment. Thank you for watching. Bye.